Oh, I have the option activate eSIM. So maybe I can do it without going to the shop. Okay. Okay, so let's let's see. So I have one euro credit there. Activate eSIM. Should I try to activate the eSIM? Okay, let's let's try. I don't want to change the plan. So looks like I can do it from the app and I don't have to go to the shop. I would really like that. The the SIM card is in the Android phone, it's there. But if I activate eSIM, I could have it on my iPhone, so that would be great. Sita activating the Sita app here, you can see it's much better than the cable net app. Uh, this is the main provider, so it's expected to see it like that. But let's see if I can activate the eSIM from the app directly. Digital version of the SIM. Digital version of the SIM. One thing about the eSIM, you have to be sure that you keep the QR code safe. Whoever, someone who can get to your QR code, they might be able to take your phone number. But I think they will send first an OTP to the old phone and then OTP is one time pin, one time code. You can switch and connect in a few minutes. I like that. You get more flexibility. I like that a lot. So let's try activate eSIM. Okay. So you'll be changing your physical SIM to eSIM. You will change this number. That's the number. I have two numbers on this provider, so I have to you have to be careful <laughs> when it's the right number, especially if you have if you have a multi-sim and they have a list of compatible devices. Uh, not now, it's okay. They have a not not all the providers are compatible with all the devices, so you really have to check. But this device is eSIM compatible and activate on this device or another device. I'll try another device because I want the QR code. I'll log into my Sita account using Face ID and hopefully there should be a QR code that I can save now. And uh, that would be perfect, really. Yeah, I have to pay five euro for this. I'm not sure if I don't have the, the credit for it on that number.